All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Alex from Mind for Attraction. Today, we're going to come to you with a very dark, and I mean dark video. Two things you guys are going to learn. If you're a woman and you're watching this, you're going to learn how guys get close to you and use your weakness against you. You got to be, if you're a nice girl, be very careful if you're a nice girl because you're easily manipulated, especially if you're the type of nice girl who wants to save the fucking world. Now, for the guys, watch this and learn how to get close to a woman, how to use weakness to make her fall in love with you. Now, don't go too far like the guy did in the video because he's going to do some, de some deceptive fucking shit. But the principle of using weakness to bring it close to you is the same, right? So a lot of you guys are not going to like this. All of my elections out there, we don't give a fuck. Why? Because we're trying to get as close to reality as possible. And this thing happens very often in the dating world. So for the guys, learn from this, take notes. This is something, this is something you could apply as long as, you, as long as you don't become too toxic with it, to be honest with you. And the women, take notes if you're a nice girl because you you're about to get played. Let's begin this. Now, this is the guy. Now, I want you to notice how evil he is right now so that you could then notice when he changes his personality. Uh, I need more information. On Rachel, favorite books, fucking movies, anything. I don't know. Come on. Rachel is the girl who he's trying to find. Okay, but don't go anywhere. I'm traveling to some place. No. Traveling wasn't an option. Because he kept her hostage. I need more, man. What about the other girl? The other girl is the girl who she was dating behind his back, because she's a lesbian. Ooh, let's go, right? So what he's about to do is that he's going to get close to the other girl. Not him, but the other guy. Lisa, I'm reading her email, so I'm tracking her phone. There's nothing there. We should get close to her, though. We should talk to her, extract something. She might recognize me. I'll do it. So, and, and, and notice the way he gets close to her. It, the way he does it is that he uses weakness. He plays the victim. He finds out what is her weakness. Her weakness is other people in vulnerable situations because she wants to help. She wants to be the hero. She wants to, she, she, she's more of an empath. And empaths are very vulnerable, and, um, um, are very vulnerable to be manipulated by psychopath or, or by sociopaths. So if you're a woman and you're a super, super nice girl and the guys are gonna hate me for it, but guys, don't worry about the guys. A lot of people who listen to what I'm about to say do not do it. Not because they don't want to, but because for some of them, it is so ingrained in their character and their personality that even though I'm telling them this, some of them will not do it. They cannot help themselves. So don't get mad that I'm teaching this because trust me, it will work no matter who it is, right? And I, this is why I'm the toxic dating coach because I, I don't play size. I only teach what works. That makes me nervous. It's social engineering. I'll just hack her that way. She won't suspect a thing. Right? Okay. If we don't try something new, we're not going to find her. Now, notice how he does it, right? 3306, right? Notice how, notice how he gets close to her. Notice how dark he was. Notice how different his personality was. Now, look, without that's the girl. Place. But I wouldn't have made it without this community either. And on tough days, I remind myself of that. that I'm the tough days are the days that she, she thinks about her ex. So she's already weak. She's been dumped, thrown to the curb. Right, and so she's in a very vulnerable position. If you ever feel like you're in this kind of position, it's not a good idea to date people, especially really charming men. You know what I'm saying? I'm not alone. That I have all of you, and I think it's important to acknowledge that, to give thanks. So thank you, all of you. And 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 this is the thing is that. A lot of people who become empaths are people who could empathize with you, who, are, who want to help. The problem is, is that you trust people too much, you know, guys. And so those kind of women, guys, if you find those kind of women, you could notice who they are by how helpful they are, um, by their past relationships. Do they do community service? Um, do they want to help the poor? Do they, do they volunteer? All of those things of trying to help and make a better world, 
a lot of the times comes because they're empaths, because they feel the pain in other people. For always being there, for always being here. That's him right there, right? And notice how he doesn't get close too fast. He doesn't do it too fast. He takes his time, and that's the key, is that if you want to make a woman fall in love with you, you got to give it time. Let it marinate. Don't be, don't be doing no fast food pickup. Let it marinate. You know what I'm saying? Let, 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 let her see you without you talking to her. It lowers their defenses. <laughs> now look, notice how he plays the victim. Watch. I just wanted to say what you said. It really connected with me. Now look at the way his old posture and everything. He is literally mirroring her. He's mirroring a pain, the, the fact that he's, in, he's hurt. And, and, and whenever she sees somebody who's in pain, she cannot help but activate her, her motherly instinct. So, so people, and this goes for guys too. You got to be careful with trusting people too fast. I don't care how much of a victim they come across. Take a step back and don't don't believe everything that people tell you. Learn to learn to. If you're somebody who feels empathy for people a lot, I, I'm the kind of person. Learn to step back and not feel too much empathy in the beginning, because it will betray you. It is a weakness. That that that, that is the truth. When the, in the Machiavellian world, empathy and and having compassion for people will get you played. Plain and simple. I did not make the rules. Thank you. Yeah. I'm glad. Lisa. Oh, of right, and notice he let her introduce himself, and he was like, "Oh no, I didn't." Oh, okay, let's introduce himself. Like he's playing, he all he's doing is that he's dangling in front of her a victim. He's dangling in front of her somebody who she can help and she cannot resist. This does not work on every woman. There's a lot of bad bitches out there who will not give a fuck if you just lost your leg. They will not care. The first step in seduction: choose the right victim. Choose a person who's emotionally as fucked up as it is. People, look, I don't do this kind of stuff because I have a heart. You, you, like, look, look, people might think of me because I'm a toxic dating coach, but I can't, this, some of this shit is just too dark. Like, some of this shit is just, you feel horrible. It, not every guy's meant to do this. You, you, you got to have a certain kind of per personality trait or lack thereof to do this kind of stuff. But if you take a little bit of it, like using, like watch what he's going to do later on. Just watch, 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 watch. It's going to be interesting. Your name? My first time, actually. Do you live around here? Towson. Just drove up. How'd you find out about it? Remember, not every woman could be pimped. In other words, not every woman is going to be like her. She's a genuinely nice person, right? So the first thing to do is you got to know what is her weakness. What is that one thing that we're actually, we're talking about nice girls. So find out what it what moves her heart. Who was what what was her ex? Who was he? What did she tolerate? What was his problems? What did she try to fix in him? Right? Because all of those telltale signs are signs that are things that you could use for yourself and adapt it to your personality. That's online. One other thing, by the way, we're having a thirty percent off, no, a forty percent off discount to before the end of the year. So for all of my courses, it's forty percent off. You could check out the the um, you could check out the the coupon code in the description down below. Website. Yeah, I was surfing around and I was I was looking for something. Uh, that's stupid. No. Right? Okay. He's playing. He's playing the. Oh, I can't open up. I I don't want to talk about it. Which makes her say no. Talk about it. Notice that she even held his hand, which means that she's opening up emotionally. Um, okay, well, a, f a few months ago, this girl. And he's, look, he knows her story, right? So he, he has an advantage. So <laughs> the thing is, he's lying. That's the thing, right? But the truth of the matter is, is that the, 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 everything that you say, look, this sounds fucked up, but it's not about the truth. It's about the effect, right? Does it work, right? It's like compliments. I don't give a fuck about I don't give a fuck about your hat, but does it work? Does a compliment work, right? And he she he knew what she went through, so he's giving her that story in in his own way. But the point is, is what he's trying to do is build comfort, build commonality. Hey, we're similar here. 
We're in a, in a, in a similar emotional state. We're in a similar um, situation. We all, we both got dumped. We both could we both could rely on each other to feel better, which makes her feel comfortable, right? But he doesn't. He still doesn't ask her out. He doesn't do anything yet. I love my life. Actually, the point is is to get her emotions engaged, and there's no better way to get her emotions engaged than by talking about a story which relates to her pain. Becca, she just left me. The same thing happened to her. And you could ask her about her relationships. How did he dump you? How did he did that? Oh, he threw you to the curb? Like, this is fucked up, what I'm about to say. But then just talk about the fact that you also got dumped like way, in a similar way, or maybe even worse, right? Make him know that you got fucking played and that now you have a tough time trusting women. You know what I'm saying? And the reason why... It's because it'll, it'll, it, in her mind, she's going to see you as somebody who she has a connection with, as somebody who she has something in common with. And then she just said it was over. And was it? Yeah. That's hard. Right? That's what she said. <laughs> but yeah, that, that's, that's the first scene. Keep watching. Look at that, right? And the whole crying thing and holding it in. Because he's mirroring her emotions. <laughs> this guy a little, look like a little bitch, but it's, it works though, right? He's mirroring her emotions. I went through something similar not that long ago. Sort of what I was talking about tonight with the hard time I'd been through. Oh. Ancient history. Right? He's not there yet. She's still not opening up. But good first step, right? The key is to not rush it. Guys, listen to the guys. If you, if you were a guy, you would have said, hey, you want to go out? Motherfucker, calm the fuck down. You just put, the, you just, you just put, some, you just put something in marinated. Put it in a fucking freezer. Let that shit marinate. Give it time. It's a woman. guess I'm not completely over it. Time heals, you know? Mm. I gotta get home. But it was nice to meet you, Max. Nice to meet you, Lisa. Right, and that's the first step, okay? Um, we're gonna watch the next video. And, and the thing is, is that when it comes to this, the best way to seduce her is just to play the long game. Don't, don't try to rush it. That's a key. You can't, don't, just don't try to rush it. But let's watch how then he gets her to open up. Watch. Let's watch this. Sorry about this, I'm about to turn off this. Okay. All right, which one is it? 611. Here it is. Ah, sorry about this. One second. Oh, <laughs> this is a girl that I'm painting right now. Um, she's just a bad bitch, though. She is bad as hell. She's she's German. Is your silly? All right, let's watch this, right? Let's fight. It'll be good for you. Give me a little. Right, and look, now he's volunteering, okay? He's volunteering, but he's not paying attention to her. But he's acting like, oh, oh shit, you can't see it, right? My fault. One second. One second. Let's get this right. Uh, where is this? That is annoying. There it is. Okay. Notice how he's standing, right? They had a volunteer session. He went, which is why I tell guys to volunteer because that's where you can spend time with women and actually get to know them without them feeling like you're trying to bang them. You know what I'm saying? But again, what he's doing, he's playing on her psychology. He knows that she is not over her ex. So what he's doing, he's literally mirroring how she feels inside. And so she's gonna empathize. Why? Not because he's doing that randomly, but because he knows her psychology and he's giving her what she wants. Look. Oh, oh, oh I'm, I can't think straight because I'm sad. Again, it's all, the, it's all in the acting. Look at that, he's like holding that pole. 
the same as Santa. Yeah, maybe a little. Is it Kara? Kara. What? You should ask her out. I know she'd say yes. It'd be good for you. <laughs> Some pussy would be good for you. <laughs> I can't. I don't trust myself. Ooh, you see, now he's playing the victim, right? You see, when you when you play up to that, like when a woman says, why can't you open up? I can't. I don't trust myself. I could hurt you or you could hurt me. My last girl hurt me and I just, I don't want to talk about it. No, please talk. It's just that I've been hurt too much. She's like, oh, I'm so sorry. How did it happen? You know, like, like playing the whole reluctant, like, one of the things about power is that if you say no to power, it comes back twofold. In other words, if somebody says, fuck, if a girl says, fuck me, daddy, and you're like, no, what do you think she's going to do? Please fuck me. Or, <laughs> not, not the best example, but there's been plenty of examples when somebody gives you power and you say no, in their eyes, your power goes up. So power is also influence, being able to make somebody sympathize for you. That's a form of power. And watch what happens when she... Invites her, invites him to get closer to him. Watch what he does. All right, so the video that I was going to show was copyright claimed. So let me give you the gist of it. The point was that he told her that he had unprotected sex with women in the past and that he's afraid to get checked. Automatically, when she heard that he's afraid to get checked and how disturbed she, he was, he told her, go get checked as like as an urgent type of thing. And why did he do that? Because he, he wanted her to be the one that tells him to get checked. He created a need and then put her in a position to hang up herself, if that makes any sense. And he is, he, like, it, it's crazy. I know, but it scares the shit out of me. Like, he's, it scares the shit out of me. It's something that I have to do, but I don't want to do. Who can help me with that? The fucking superhero. You know, Cap, um, Captain Save a Not She's not Captain Save a But he's given her an opportunity to be the hero, right? So this happens with women where you let her know that you're trying to help yourself, but you can't. I've been trying to see a psychologist and I can't, I'm too afraid. And she's like, I can help you. Come see a psychologist, I can help you. You're like, no, I can't, it's too much. No, seriously, I can help you. Don't talk about it no more. I don't want to talk about it. I gotta go, right? That drama, that type of drama is intoxicating to women and ladies. You can't fall for that, man. I'm sorry. It's too easy sometimes. Do you want me to go with you? No, no. Right, 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 right. And that's what he wants, though. He wants that. But he's saying no to it at first. This is the first time we've been talking, so you're my friend's brother. You just want me to. I get it. <laughs> I could go with you tomorrow if you want me to. I don't need a lot. Hey, I'm not trying to love you. I care about you, and I want you to be safe. Right? And he's creating the kind of conflict that engages her. Max. And she loves us. She lo people, look, saviors love this because it's a situation that they could use to save them. Now look, watch, right? Now look, then he goes to the hospital and look what happens. This motherfucker, man, I'm telling you, man, this, this guy, I was shocked when he did that. Watch, look at this. 2403, right? Watch this. She's working right now. And what he does is that he's trying to make her do something and go out of her way, right? He could have called her at night, but look what he does. He calls her while she's working so that... Well, this is great. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, excuse me, Katie. Sorry. Hey, Matt. I'm here at the clinic. All right, he's at the clinic right now. And look what happens next. Right, he is playing once again. He's playing on her emotions by playing the victim, and she just falls for it. Look at this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be there as soon as I can. Okay. Yeah. Just hold tight. Hey, um, I need to go. Damn, she's kind of cute. Do you mind taking care of all this? Okay, thank you. I gotta, go, I gotta go to church, people. Look, people, look at this. This is crazy. Mr. Orsay? This is a perfect example of 
of, 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 of how men manipulate women and how you guys can use this in a safe way. If something bad happens, exaggerate. Or if nothing bad happens, and exaggerate also. People, women love drama. Women, be careful with, want, with loving drama. This is the kind of shit that fall, makes you fall in love with the wrong guys. <laughs> with the wrong guys. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, my fault. I'm doing video. Sorry. We're negative on all fronts. We have the results for your records. We've got some literature, if you like, on protection, preventative strategies, how to avoid high risk encounters. No, thank you. I'm, I'm good. Right? Now, look, it's negative, but he's saying no to the material. But now, watch what happens. He thinks about it, he's like, wait a minute. I could keep the material to make it look like she gave it to me because I maybe got something and it's more of, a, you, you know what I'm saying? Like, look what he does. He's like, give me that shit. It's, a, it's good for show. But look what he does. Look what he does. Look what he does. This is, be, guys, this is, guys, this is where I tell you guys, be careful with this shit. Be careful. Be, care be careful with this, people. And and ladies, if you're a nice girl, you're more you're more likely to find guys like this. If you're a nice girl, you're 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 more n likely to find sociopaths, because nice girls give off weakness. They, they give off the weakness. It's that simple. Right, he's playing. He, he's getting. He's getting into character. He, he's, he's getting into character right now. But he's a great method actor. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look, 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 look. And 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 what you're gonna see now, it's all about. It's not about the truth. It's about getting her to become emotional, at your cost. It, it's that simple. This is all about getting her to become emotional at your cost. <laughs> oh my god, dude. <laughs> Yo, dude. And now she and now she's like now she's now she's now she's just like she's just emotionally open, man. Now she's emotionally open. It's that simple. Now look at what happens when she look. Now remember earlier she didn't open up to him, right? Remember earlier she didn't open up to him. And now look what happens when she talks about her ex. There's treatment now. He said that he was the most just that I let her do this to me. Did you ever feel that way about your ex? The pain that just consumes you? Oh, for a while, yeah. Still on bad days. You see, and, and just notice her open up. And the reason, again, the reason why she's opening up is because he he got her to the like time and deep emotional experiences is what creates the connection, you know. And what I like, I'm, we're gonna end it here because what happens next is that she opens up to him. They, they they don't hook up, right? They don't hook up because the whole goal was to get information out of her. But the point is, you saw the sequence. That's how that works. It's not something that you do fast. It's better. It's much better to do it slowly, right? But find out. Maybe look at her Instagram, whatever. Find out what is her number one weakness. What is she vulnerable? What is she open, like vulnerably open to, right? And if she's one of those women who want to help the world, who who are empaths, who who show a bunch of like fucking angels and meditation and. And, and, and veganism and, and let's save the world. There's a good likelihood that this could work on them because the reason why they're like that is because they can feel emotional pain, right? But this is, this is the easiest way to get played. This is the easiest way to get manipulated, you know? And I to show you guys how it's done. To the guys, use this information for whatever the fuck you wanna use it. And for the women, 
use this information for defensive purposes. All right, if you guys enjoyed this video, let me know if you guys want me to make more videos about this. I'm experimenting. I'm trying out different videos, different ways. So if you guys like it, let me know. If you, if you guys don't like it, then go fuck yourselves, right? Nah, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Don't go fuck yourselves. Um, find somebody to fuck you, all right? Um, preferably somebody who's good, that's not narcissistic, and with a good heart, all right? All right. Anyways, this is Alex, your toxic dating coach. I hope you guys enjoy your day. Peace out. All right, ladies. So finally, I have released my second course for women, which is natural chemistry. This course is a five week course, five week course where every week you're going to get a new set of videos based on, based on specific issues. This course is all about how to create and maintain the attraction in any man. This will help you create love. This will help you deepen the love with your man. This is not about manipulation. This is not about playing games. This is genuine, genuine, natural chemistry. No more short-term partners. No more being fooled. Why? Because I will reveal to you not only how to create attraction in the first week, but also how to understand male nature, how to understand their tricks, how to prevent from being a too attached. Signs that he's the wrong guy. Signs that he's a narcissist. Signs that he's a mama's boy. Signs that he's an emotionally available guy, emotionally unavailable guy. We go over everything. We go over this third week, setting boundaries. We go over the third week, controlling your emotions, right? Setting boundaries, fourth week, fifth week, embracing your masculine and the feminine, right? And on top of that, I come, I have over 10 different bonuses, 10 different bonuses, my Lord have mercy, right? With, with a money back guarantee. The bonus are one, the natural chemistry, over 10 hours of content, right? The breakup formula, how to deal with a breakup, right? The connecting with your man, right? Establishing a life of abundance, social mastery, understanding your dark side, the goal setting seminar, which is about how to set and achieve goals, practical mastery that will teach you how to master anything. The laws of human nature. I will come that I have a book club for the laws of human nature where over four hours of content, right? The transformational seminar in a pocket, which is my mindfulness seminar and the chase audiobook. This is a this originally is one thousand eight hundred dollars, but you get it starting at ninety seven dollars, ladies and gentlemen. Right? Ninety seven dollars. We have different packages, but all of this starts at ninety seven dollars. And you know what? You can check it out for free if you want. Yeah. For all the freeloaders, I have free videos just for you free videos all right so you could just check it out for free and then you could get out nothing wrong with that all right so and on top of that it comes with a 30-day money back guarantee no questions asked that's right no questions asked i don't mind i just want you guys to check it out because i know when you take one look you're gonna want to buy it i can promise you just like my other course um the psychological the psychological game of attraction it was a hit you're gonna love this one this one is not about manipulation this is genuine natural chemistry order it now all right i'll see you guys inside peace out